Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain how to calculate uh, the equation of the plane parallel to two lines. So uh, it's not containing these two lines, so the plane itself is not containing these two lines or it's not formed by these two lines, it's just parallel to these two lines and we have a, a fixed point only on this line which is given. Okay, so this is so let me call this the equation of a plane parallel to two lines. Okay, let me also say not formed by these lines. So it's not formed or it's not containing these two lines. So let me stress that, okay? Uh, but given a fixed point on the plane. So we're given a fixed point on this plane. So we do need that fixed point on the plane in order to work out uh, the plane's equation. So let me underline this. Okay, and let's have a diagram. So we have a plane, like so, and this plane is parallel to two lines. So if I have two lines like so, so it's parallel to two lines. So one of the lines have an equation R is equal to uh, A1 plus lambda M1. And a second line have an equation R is equal to A2 uh, plus mu M2. Okay, But supposing we have a fixed point on this plane, so if that fixed point is given, so if I call this fixed point A3, so the vector A3 is the fixed point on this plane which is given, okay? So let me work, let me show you how to work out, or let me show you the method to work out the scalar product equation of the plane in this case, okay? So um, to calculate the normal vector n. So we need the normal vector for this plane. So let me include that on the diagram also. n is the normal vector or a vector perpendicular to the plane. Okay. So these two lines are parallel to the plane and remember these vectors here m1 and m2 these are the direction vectors of the lines. So to work out the normal vector Okay, if we calculate the vector product or the cross product of these two direction vectors, we are going to have as a result a vector which is perpendicular to both m1 and m2 and therefore a vector which is perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so to calculate n, the normal vector. So let me take a red pen and underline this. This is very important. And the normal vector can be found by working out M1 cross M2. So let me repeat. If we calculate the vector product of these direction vectors of the lines M1 and M2, the result will be a vector perpendicular to both M1 and M2, okay, and hence that vector will also be a vector perpendicular to the plane, okay, and that will be our normal vector n for the plane. So to calculate P, so to calculate capital P, so let me underline this. So uh, remember the scalar product equation of the plane uh, is of the form r dot n is equal to capital P and remember to calculate capital P it's a dot n 
So A is the position vector of a fixed point on the plane. And in this case, the fixed point will be given A is A3. Okay, so A here is A3. So that will be given. Okay, and N, the normal vector that we'll be calculating when working out M1 cross M2. Okay. So once we know A, once we know N, so to once we know A rather, to work out P, it will be A3 dot the normal vector. And once you know P, once you know N, remember the equation of the plane, it's R dot N is equal to P. So that is the scalar product equation for the plane. Okay. So that is the idea in order to work out the equation of the plane which is parallel to two lines. Okay, but let me stress, remember, these lines do not form the plane. So they're just lines parallel to the plane and given a fixed point on the plane. Okay, so that ends this video. In the next video, I'll go through an example in order to show you how this all works. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.